Hey guys, Dave here again. Hope you guys had a good workout yesterday. Um, it was fun filming it. Thanks to Betsy for demonstrating. She did a great job. That was workout number one. Now we're at workout number two. Betsy was indicating to me today that she's a little sore from that workout. So instead of um, going into more strength training, let your body rest a little bit. This is the first week. So we're gonna go ahead and do a core routine. Let's really focus on building that core and that's just gonna help the strength of your whole body. So what we're gonna do is start out with a, a warm up. The warm up is gonna be your Tabata row. Tabata is normally a high intensity type of a workout, but what we're gonna do is do a, a, an easier, uh, lighter workout on that because we're not looking to get the workout out of it. We're just looking to warm up. So you're not gonna go as high intensity on the row but you are gonna follow the format of the Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 second rest, eight rounds. And after we get done with the warm up, we're gonna go ahead and start our uh, core workout. We start with the starfish. I'm gonna demonstrate each and every one of these. Uh, we're only gonna do four. We're gonna do 10 reps each, and we're gonna try to get through three rounds. All right, I know it doesn't look like a lot, doesn't look like much, but uh, believe me, after you get done doing a, a circuit, of uh, one round, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna rest about 30 seconds or so or whatever you need, and then go back to round number two, same with round number three. And uh, when you're done with that, your workout's over. You should stretch after every workout as well. Okay, all right, let's get going. All right, Betsy just set up the monitor and now she's gone ahead and going for her first round of 20 seconds. She's not going real high intensity on this because it is just a warm up. Remember that when you're doing a Tabata row for a, for an exercise, you're going to go higher intensity. You're going to pull and drive harder and faster. You want to get that heart rate up. Here we're just trying to get the movement, the blood into the muscles, blood into the joints. Looks like this. You're going to lay down. You're going to get into a starfish position. What you're going to do is you're going to come up and try to get your shoulder blades off the ground and hit your inside of your leg. Right, I don't want to see this. You got to come up. Okay, next one it is called a tuck plank. Uh, I do it as a cross tuck plank. A regular tuck plank looks like this. Cross tuck looks like this. Windshield wipers. Here, you drop your legs down. Either side. And the Russian twist is going to look like this. Now, to begin, if you don't have the strength, keep your feet down on the mat. If bring your hands over, up, one side to the other, like so. If you can, keep your legs up. Okay, Betsy's going to go ahead and get in a starfish position. And she's going to start up. Notice how the, her shoulder blades come off the mat. She twists over, touches one leg, then the other. She's going to do 10 total, which is really five on each side. Or plank position for the tuck plank. but it's definitely a core strengthener because you have to keep your balance. All right, next one there is the windshield wiper. You kind of mimic the motion of a windshield wiper. That's just gonna go right into the Russian twist. Slightly bend your legs. There you go. 
Notice how she doesn't sit all the way up, she leaves an angle. If you come all the way up straight, you're gonna lose the tension on the movement. Here you go, that's, that's one round. And you're gonna rest about 30 seconds and do another round. And then rest another 30 seconds and do your third round and you will be done with the workout. Okay guys, we're gonna continue our workout and hopefully you guys have a good workout. This shouldn't kill you too much. Uh, you're probably a little sore from yesterday's workout, I would hope so. I don't wanna make you too sore, but I do want you to feel it. So good luck with this workout and we'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, have a good day. Talk to you later.